Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well a couple of videos ago we did these vertically scrolling little text boxes here when you hover over them they change colour and you've got a little call to action there. Today we've got a sort of horizontal version with an icon when you hover over it. It's going to change colour and expand to reveal the text and title there. Really easy to do, we're not using any extra coding for this today, just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and we'll just delete one of these modules and start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. Plenty enough to build just about any site. If you're using WooCommerce, you get an extra dozen or so as well to display your products. I'm going to use the Blurb module today simply because it's got an icon. As you can see, it pops it in there. I don't want quite as much text. So I'm going to cut that back a little bit. I haven't got any real text, so I'll just use what they've got going on here. And I want to use an icon. I'm going to leave the generic title in there and this content here. Like any text module, WordPress text module, you can add media here if you want to, bold, italicize, add links, however you want to do it. I'm leaving mine just like that. Now I want an icon for this today rather than the image. Of course you can upload your own image and do it the same way. So I'm going to flip the switch on to use icon under image and icon, content tab. And let's pop in whatever icon we want. As you can see it's popped it on the top there. So I've got everything I need, the contents and icon there. What I'm going to do is go over to my design now, design tab in the middle. I want that icon on the left hand side. So image icon placement. There we go. And I want it a lot bigger than that. I'm going to make it sort of 100 pixels. And if it doesn't go up as far as you want to go with the slider, just type in whatever value you like. You can go as high as you want. There we go. That's great. All right. Well, I want to give it a bit of a background color when it's expanded like this. So let's go into our content. Back on the content tab, the first one, background. Just give it a blue background. Back to our design. Now I'm going to make that icon white so it stands out a little bit better. I'm going to do similar for my text down below. I'm going to make that light in color. My title I want to stand out a bit more. So title text. Divi comes a standard with crazy amount of fonts. If you want to change your font just hover over one it'll show you an example of it. I'm going to use the default today. But I do want to make my title bold and capitalized. There we go. I want to give it a little bit of space all around, not too much, probably about as much as we've got between the icon and the text there, which is probably around about 10 pixels or so. So still on the design tab, I'm going to close that up. I'm going to go down to spacing, padding. I'm going to give it 10 pixels all around. Just put in the 10. It'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite side. Same for left and right. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine. And I'm going to round off those corners as well. So I'm going to go down to border. I'm going to put 10 pixels in. Just put it, again, put the 10 in. It'll put the pixels in for you. As long as you've got the little chain highlighted there, it'll do all four at once. And there we've got our little rounded corners. I'm going to shut that up and just add a little bit of box shadow, lift it off the page. Fantastic. Okay, well, now we need to make it do our sizing thing. So still in design, I want to go to sizing, you can see it right there. Now the width, initially I just want to see that icon. I know that icon's 100 pixels wide and tall, so I'm going to say try 110 width, 110. And again it's put the pics, not quite enough actually. Let's pull it up a little bit more. Obviously judge it how you want to judge yours. 114. Looks about right. 115. We'll try 115. We're going to put the same value in for the height. Uh, 
there we go I think that'll work obviously you can adjust it let's just take it up just a little bit 116 and 116 great but when they hover over it I want this to expand to reveal the text that we've got in there so what we're going to do is go over to width right here little arrow and this is common to most DV modules hit the little arrow it'll give you a desktop when your mouse is not hovering over it and a hover version obviously when your mouse is hovering over it desktop is absolutely fine 116 picks hovering I want it to be almost 450 500 let's try 450 so again I'm going to type in 450 it puts in the picks for you think that's going to work you could go up to about five if you wanted depending on how much content you've got in there but I think that's going to work and of course that's going to work on mobile versions as well that screen size but uh, if you want to adjust it on mobile and tablet you can do so by hitting the little icon here and it'll give you a desktop version a tablet version and a mobile and you can change it on all of those for, if you need to but I'm going to leave mine just like that great so when we hover over it, it's going to be that big. When we not, it's just going to have the icon like that as a button. Great. So the only other thing I want to do, I think, is we'll have it change color when we hover over it. And we'll slow the timing down a bit on it. So I've gone back to the content, down to the background once more. Same thing. We're going to go up to the dark writing, get the little arrow up. Desktop, that's fine as the blue. Let's change it on hover state to perhaps purple, whatever color you want. Great. Now, the only other thing I really want to change here is the time it takes to go from that to this with Divi by default is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. It's up to you. I like to slow it down for a little bit of drama. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, go over to the advanced tab, transitions. Here's transition duration. There's the default 300 milliseconds right there. I'm going to take mine up to just above half a second, 600 mil, something like that. Speed curve I like to use for this sort of thing is ease in and ease out. They're all slightly different. Check them out. Some will work better than others in certain circumstances. But for me, ease in and ease out is going to work here. That way when you mouse off of it, it sort of eases back to where it was. And nice little effect. So if we've done everything correctly, this should now work. Let's save our changes. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. We'll go down to where we were working. There we go. There's our new little icon. When we hover over it, it's going to change color and reveal our text that's a nice little feature to have on your site make a nice little list with that sort of thing and if people are mousing around your site they hover over that and that happens it's going to get their attention pretty quickly which is what you want it's going to get eyeballs on it pretty quick really easy effect like I say we haven't used any coding or anything like that today on this just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.